Hi, I'm photojournalist Matt Pierce, and this is the Fair Forward Podcast. Today, we're talking about high-performance photography and high-performance images. Come along with me on this journey as we explore what it is, what it means, and how we apply it to our daily world. Come along with me. A fair way to play for everyone. Fair Forward. Let's go on the journey together. What is a high-performance photo and what is high-performance image? To me, when I think of a high-performance photo, I think of something that grabs somebody by the throat. It captures their attention and it holds them in a moment in time forever. They want to latch on to this. They see the story. They feel the emotion. They feel the passion. And it drives them to some sort of action. That is what turns into a high-performance image. Okay? We work with clients every single day that want that high-performance aspect of their image. What it is not, to me, okay, what it is not is a photo that looks fake. It doesn't look too photoshopped. It doesn't look too dramatic. It doesn't, because then the drama takes away from the point, right? So if you're out there and you're using flash photography and you're using all these crazy things to make things happen, then you're just simply showcasing your work. And that's fine. That's fine. Do that. As an artist, do that. But if we're trying to get that high performance image, right? We are looking beyond that. That, wow, look what this guy can do. Because that drama is distracting from the real story that I need to tell. Now, I can add some effects. And I can add some images to that. And I can add a lot of different things to it. But I want that photo to live in time. I want it to live forever. I want it to document something. I want it to show something. I want a hundred years from now, somebody to come back and say, that's Alexander Mihov on the pitch. I want that photo to live and to breathe and to convey some kind of emotion. The more added drama that I add to that photo the more it takes away now for creative purposes if it is just simply a creative image that's fine but if I am trying to create this high performance photo this high performance message especially in sports I don't want something that's going to distract too much away from the point that I'm trying to make. The effect should simply enhance, not distract. You follow me? So, all too often today we see flash photography. And that's fine. I'm fine with that. And we see this dramatic lighting effect with the sun going down where the subject is perfectly lit and all this yada 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 okay that's great but to a consumer or to a potential sponsor I've seen that a million and one times over I have seen that I felt it I've heard it your photo now looks like everyone else's photo I want something that's going to stop. So when we're at a game, when we're at a soccer game, or we're at a football game, or we're at a baseball game, whatever, we're looking for those moments, those high-performance moments that stop time, that convey a message, that captures that passion without a bunch of extra effects. Because that's what high-performance is about. It's about capturing those moments And helping them live forever. And then using that moment to spark somebody's passion. 
to spark somebody's emotion and to move them to action. A high performance photo doesn't have to be jets. It doesn't have to be dramatic clouds. It doesn't have to be a dramatic sunset that looks photoshopped. If I'm using that to build a high performance image, I want to showcase that performance. I want to add just enough effect to complement but not overpower. I don't want the effects that I add to it, the special effects, to distract from the message that I'm trying to push forward. And that message in sports is the performance of your team, the passion of your team, the momentum of your group together. And then looking for those special moments to grab onto it. I, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but that's what a high performance photo and a high performance image is when you meld those two together, when you weld it together and you create this picture that tells a story, sparks emotion, and lives and breathes, and somebody can see more into that. That's a high performance photo. Whether it's a picture of an economically challenged person living on the streets, or whether it's the Blue Angels flying through the air, or whether it's soccer players on the pitch, or baseball players on the diamond. If you look at the most successful images in sports, those images are not overly dramatic. They're not overly saturated and dramatized they're telling a story because the photographer knew the angle the photographer knew the purpose and the photographer read the moment so as sports photographers no matter what you are you need to take that moment and let it live in time think about anticipate those moments that are going to live then when you get back and you're editing and developing that photo don't just let it sit there and keep adding effects and adding effects and look what I can do look what I can do look what I can do that's taking away from your brand image and taking away from that high performance image simplicity beauty angles, leading lines, let those speak for you. Don't go and add a bunch of stuff to it, unless creative is what you're looking for. But to me, a high performance image really tells that story. It digs deeper. It gives me a different angle, a different point of view without all the distractions. That's a high performance photo and that's a high performance image. And it's how you weld them together to create one cohesive story. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned a little bit about what a high-performance photo and a high-performance image is. And let's use those photos to be fair. Let's tell a fair, objective, clean, clear story. And if you're in a position, compensate people for that. Don't just expect people to give that to you. Show appreciation for their work. Because what they're doing when they're out there creating these high performance images to use with the or these high performance photos to use in high performance imaging, they're benefiting your club, they're benefiting your players, they're benefiting your brand, your image, and they're reaching people far beyond your local market where the big money sponsors are. I'm Matt Pierce. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's work together to create some high-performance photos and some high-performance images that get results. And let's do it fairly together. And let's move towards a fair forward life for every stakeholder involved in pre-professional sports. Thanks a lot for your time. I really appreciate it. You've been great.